Hello friends. In this video, we will learn how to unit test a method which has method called reference to another method of a object class. Also, we will learn how to unit test private methods. Let's take an example of convert to string method here is here is the method for which we want to write the unit test so let's see what are the complexity it has first of all first of all it uses the first line it uses check boolean method of data source config now let's see, let's see what is their check boolean method okay the check boolean is a method of data source config object this one is the key thing so we let's write down the complexity so so complexity one now if the check boolean is true then it calls get unique ids method which is a private method here so this is a private method call so complexity level we can say level 2 and also we need to verify the else scenario else scenario get ids again that is private method so complexity 3 that means we need to verify both the conditions condition 1 condition 2 and we need to verify the check boolean method so uh, we need uh, yeah we need to by, uh, bypass the check boolean method of an uh, object class of kotlin so let's write unit test for that and our method is convert to string so as we will use mock k this is the first line we will write so write test Okay, now we'll say var utils list of two two but here the major problem is that data source config of check boolean class uh, and in this method we will not verify the functionality of check boolean method we want to bypass that okay that means we will give our conditions now we will say that uh, data source config is an object so i need to use mock object so write mock object data source config and here we will write what is the method check boolean any returns true and uh, let's write result
get unique IDs. So we need to verify the unique IDs here. So we will say we are expecting a set equals one comma two as a result which is the unique IDs we are calling the unique IDs now the me measure value is that as we are saying that uh, this is very uh, simple method that's why we are expecting the or we are verifying the result here but in lots of uh, uh, cases we will find that this get IDs this is very complex and uh, ideally we are verifying convert to string method that means in this method we are not uh, supposed to test the other methods means we are not supposed to test get IDs or get unique IDs but we need to verify whether those things gets called or, or not the execution gets called or not that means in that case we cannot write assert equals instead of that as we uh, will test the uh, will verify the behavior so when you try it verify then uh, we need to ma uh, make uh, verify the method call of the utils class so we need to spy this method spy k of utils and we'll write remove this result here we'll write utils whenever the check boolean is true we need to verify get unique ids this method call so now you see uh, can i access the method here no what is says cannot access get unique ids it is in private that means uh, i cannot access private methods in my utils class so but the purpose of private method is to on so that it will not be accessible in other classes or no one else can use it so we have the similar property in unit testing just change the visibility so we can say visual for testing write this one nothing else and remove this private keyword from the method just annotate with visual for testing by default the authorage option is private means this method will be only accessible to the unit test any similarly we need to verify the functionality when the check boolean value is false we will say in that case get ids will get called and to make this class testable sorry to make this method testable we need to write test annotation here oh now let's verify okay replace activities now let's see yeah <coughs> it's get executed all the conditions got executed well, let's verify whether this method is accessible outside or not so let's uh, have another let's access this from another class uh, let's uh, I will access that here utils dot yes I can access but uh, let's list of one two but you can see there is a yellow color hint here 
and it tells this message should should only be accessed from tests or within private scope but if you uh, if you verify here you are not in this case there is no yellow yellow color warning no warning so in this way we can use vju for testing keyword for testing any private method now let's uh, test that private method itself okay uh, let's delete it from here we we need to verify these two methods separately uh, get unique ids and get ids so let's write for get ids similarly right get ids so it is Utils dot get get IDs uh, list of one two Security the result and we need to verify as at equal this is the actual value and the expected value is one two two this is not unique id you see similarly write for unique ids let's get Ids get unique ids and the expectation value is one two but two is duplicate and get unique ids should remove that duplication but get ids should not now <laughs> run all all the units yes got, got executed successfully and yeah in this way we can verify the private method and the object methods